Hey dolls and friends, welcome back and thanks so much for spending part of your day with me. If you're new here, my name is Amber Michonne and I do weekly DIYs and hauls. If you're not new, hey doll, hey. So in today's video, I am sharing with you some thrift flips. You guys know I have been loving shopping at Goodwill lately and I have been having a blast flipping some of these items. The great thing that I love about thrifted items is that when you flip them, it only takes a few steps to make something so beautiful and fit your personal style. So adding just a little bit of paint, some distressing lines makes these things so, so beautiful and I cannot wait to share this with you. So if you like what you see and enjoy the video, I would love if you would give me a big thumbs up. If you're new, I would love if you would consider subscribing and hitting that bell so you're notified every time that I upload. I also wanted to remind you all that I have partnered with Rose Forever, which is a New York based company that launched in 2019 to deliver these immaculate, gorgeous roses in this beautiful packaging. But I have a special coupon code for you guys using DIY with Amber 15 gets you $15 off of your purchase. They have so many different varieties, so many different choices to choose from. I know you guys are going to love it. All right, dolls, let's go ahead and jump right in. First up, I have this metal basket that I'm flipping and everything I got from the Goodwill. So I got this for $8.99 and I absolutely love this uh, metal basket. Like it's just so pretty to me and I love that I could put it by my fireplace and put some wood in it, but I just am not feeling the color at all. I want it to be lighter, brighter. So I'm using my flat white um, spray paint from Rust-Oleum and I gave that about three to four coats to be perfectly honest. I want to four coats over the course of two days I let it dry completely in between and I just do a little bit of um, spraying here and there making sure I get good coverage good even coverage I always am so impatient with spray painting because I want it like done quickly but for this one I really wanted it to be right because it is going um, in front of my fireplace so I need to make sure that it's not an eyesore <laughs> near like my mantle and everything so I got on the the sides and the insides as well um, this is what it looks like after everything is completely dry after those four coats like I said um, but I really wanted some distressing on there to make it look a little aged so I used my burnt umber acrylic paint and a chippy brush and I just went to town on this distressing now I did start off a little bit light at first so I was kind of timid <laughs> not wanting to like truly mess it up but then I just went into town and it's like you know what do what you like amber and you're running it to be distressed so i really took to like where the gaps and like the holes are and really like made that my focal point to do my distressing then i also did my handles i did my handles a lot more distressed because i was looking for more of that aged rustic uh look and i absolutely love how this is turning out and i did the top and the base of this basket as well and i absolutely love how this turned out it is so so pretty to me i love the aged weathered look that the distressing lines give and i think once i put some wood and stuff in there it is gonna just pop it's gonna look so so good i love it Next, I am flipping this frame succulent decor piece. So I picked this up. Um, it was actually free. If you see my last haul, Goodwill haul video, um, this was free. So like, yeah, free. <laughs> so anyways, I thought it was so, so pretty. I love the, um, the succulents on here. So what I'm doing is just removing the canvas. And I did that by just using this spatula tool that I got from Dollar Tree and just tried to pull up as many of the staples that I could. Now, I really hate even doing this with like canvas frames from Dollar Tree. So doing it here really wasn't making me happy, but it was the best course of action for me to remove all of these. I didn't remove all of them because it was really hard and I did not want to tear the canvas uh, picture at all. So this is what I'm left with after I get it all up. So I removed the um, 
the uh, picture and then I just wipe it down because it was pretty dirty on the inside cleaned it with a baby wipe and wiped it down with a paper towel set that aside and I'm going to take the frame and just give that some black paint so I'm using just acrylic paint for this you can use chalk paint if you want but I have ran out of a lot of my chalk paint colors which is why I am using my acrylic paint colors uh, chalk paint just gives you that nice chalky finish acrylic paint I mean it's just it's just regular paint to me it doesn't either one works but yeah so I just painted all around on my frame top um, bottom sides just not the back and for this frame I only gave it one coat paint um, while I'm letting that sit to dry I'm just cutting down the sides on my canvas because it's just too long and I already measured out um, the frame on top so once it's cut down the size, I just hot glue my frame right on top. And I'm actually using some wood glue. I mean, this isn't wood, but wood glue is just so strong and it just it just works really, really well. Um, after that, I just cut down on the sides where the canvas is kind of, um, it's like a lip over or whatever. What was I trying to say? I don't know. But anyways, I just cut it down on the sides where it was hanging over. Hanging over. That's the phrase I was using. And that's it for this flip. Absolutely love it. I think it's so, so pretty. And I think the black just makes, the black frame makes it pop with the succulents and that black, gray, and, and white like vase that they're in. This is so, so pretty, you guys. Love it. This next flip is so so easy just this simple black vase so I got this I think this was 79 cents from the Goodwill and I just love the ribbed edges like not edges but the ribbing on it like um, the raised parts anyways I just used more of my acrylic black paint this is actually jet black and I actually did three coats of paint for this one just going all the way around making sure it dries completely in between and making sure I just have that stark black color. I thought about distressing a little bit with some white or some ivory, but I just wanted to keep this simple color. I love it. I think it's so, so pretty and it goes really well with everything else. For my next flip, I'm making this stenciled wall decor. So I picked up this frame for $3.99 and I just love the bones of it, but I really wanted to change it up. I think it's so, so pretty and a great size, um, and you can flip it either kind of way. So the first thing I did is just remove all of the backing to this um, frame and the glass piece. And then I'm also using some half wood beads from um, Amazon that I picked up, as well as some wood planks from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> yeah. So once everything is pulled up, I'm actually going to paint everything white except for the glass you'll see that in a minute so I'm using my linen white rust-oleum chalk paint and I just gave this frame my wood beads and my wood plants I gave everything two coats of white paint and then I'm going to move over to my glass piece and my backing and I gave those one coat paint of my black uh, acrylic paint I actually gave the glass piece about two coats because sometimes it gets really weird with painting like these glass pieces I think I didn't let it dry all the way in between so it was really weird but anyways um, that's why I painted the backing black just in case you could see like the glass through it so yeah, and then I went to my Cricut and cut out this beautiful floral stencil and I'm putting it over each of these wood plank pieces. And I absolutely love this stencil look, you guys. Oh my gosh, I think it's so, so pretty. Then the next thing I did is took my moss chalk paint. Now this is probably one of the only colors, I probably have just like colorful colors of my chalk paint because I don't really use them that often. So I'm trying, something new so I just took a small paintbrush and just painted in the stencil with this moss color and I love this pop of color oh my gosh it is giving me all of the feels and then once it dries I pull that up and it is so so satisfying 
so so pretty to have this stencil i need to use my stenciling on my cricut machine way more often because i tend to go straight towards my dollar tree stencils but sometimes i get some bleeding because you know it doesn't stick down all the way but anyways <laughs> then um after all my um, stencils are complete i decided to go ahead and use that moss color again and give each of my wood planks a border around this um, and I think this just makes it pop even more. It gives it that nice finished high-end look. I absolutely love it. I think it's so, so, so pretty. So stinking pretty. <laughs> Once I'm done with that, it is time to start assembling everything. But now that my frame is dry, I want it to give it more distressing. So I took my finger sander and just distressed on the um, edges of the frame on the sides and on the inside. And then I just took a couple of streaking lines onto actually the face of the frame um, just to give it a little bit more character and give me a little bit more of that farmhouse chic feel that I I love so super easy I really hate sanding down sometimes though because it just gets so so messy oh my goodness <laughs> I need to like wear an apron when I craft so I don't get like my clothes dirty so yeah <laughs> um once everything is dry like I said it's time to start assembling so I put my glass piece in first and I have it, it has this chalky finish but I actually when I turned it over to put it in I really love how it looked um, the opposite way. So I'm actually going to put it in backwards because I loved that look through the glass. And then I just put my backing in and then just uh, push all of the back pieces down to hold it in. And then I start to arrange all of my pieces on top. Of course, I wipe it down because it was really like dusty. So after I wipe that down um, with a baby wipe and paper towel, then I arrange my wood uh, plank pieces and my wood beads on here. And I'm not really sure how I came up with this design. I just started placing things down before I painted and everything, obviously, to see what I liked and what I thought would be really, really cool. So... Once I had my positioning there, then I just hot glued everything down. And I really, really love this piece. I mean, I definitely think this is something you could find at like a high-end store. You can even kind of find this at like Ross or Marshalls or something. I just think it's so, so pretty. It was so easy to make. I mean, it it was time consuming, but it was it was definitely worth it. I absolutely love how this turned out and it might be one of my favorites. Next up, we have another easy vase. I'm calling this my Raffia vase. So I got this for 99 cents at the Goodwill and I love just the odd shape of this and I just love everything about it. I, I can't quite explain why I like it so much, but I just really like it. But it needed a good clean. So I wiped this down with a baby wipe and then went back with a paper towel just to dry it all up. And then I am using my plaster chalk paint from Waverly. I only have just a little bit um, and I'm going to just give this a nice good coat of paint. I gave it two coats. Now this actually turned out to be a fail at first but I fixed it I'm not going to take you all through the heartache and the pain and the struggle with this but this is what I came up with <laughs> when after I painted it I used like my burnt umber and was trying to like distress it and it would just did not work so I went back over it with my white linen um, or linen white whatever the name is chalk paint from Rust-Oleum and I gave it that two coats of paint i'm telling y'all this was a struggle i was on a struggle bus for real. i don't know why i felt like i wanted to do something totally different with this vase but anyways after it was dry this is what i am left with then i'm using this raffia that i picked up from a dollar tree 
Now, I don't know if this is new, but I've never seen it packaged like this before. So yeah, and they have like a bunch of different colors. But anyways, I just took a small handful and just cut that down and then started to hot glue it on the rim of my vase. And I just used hot glue all the way around to make sure that it stuck and stayed. Super easy. Once I was at the end, I just cut that down and um or just cut it off and that's it for that part um but i just wanted a little bit more with this vase i thought it was just so so cool and i thought it was so cute you can definitely leave your vases just like this matte color i think that is very very pretty very very modern but i wanted to put a little bit of my farmhouse chic touch to it so i took my finger sander again and just sand it down on those edges of that vase where it like looks like it's curved uh, so I sanded that down. I sanded down the ring of the vase too because it just looked a little funky. And then I also sanded down the bottom. What I love about the bottom of this vase is that because I painted it using that burnt umber, you got a little bit of that. Um, I got a little bit of the like the brown to show through and I thought it just was so, so pretty. So I love how this turned out and that's it for this flip so so pretty i don't plan on putting any florals in this i think it's just perfect the way it is all right dolls that's all i have for you today i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give me a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and be blessed stay safe and i will see you on the next one bye